Yes, sir. We are live. What's going on, y'all? Give me a brief second. Give me a brief second. All righty. Let's get cooking. What's going on, y'all? Appreciate y'all for tuning in today. Happy Monday. Hope y'all are getting active on this good Monday. Hope you guys are getting active. It is Q4, so I hope you're out here booking as many appointments as possible, talking to as many people as possible, and letting them know what you do. If you don't know who I am, my name is Rafael Jimerson, a.k.a. Stamper, Big Stamp, as a lot of my friends call me. Uh, I am the owner founder of Stamper Signings. We are a nationwide mobile notary service that specializes in providing estate planning notary services for estate planning law firms. I am also the founder of the Stampin' Academy, where we help notaries learn how to perform estate plan signings as well. Good afternoon, Terry. I appreciate you all for jumping on today. Um, before we get started, do me a favor, y'all. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. I'm always dropping a lot of free tips, a lot of free information on this channel so I can help you book as many appointments as possible and help you collect as much money as possible in your notary business. Hope y'all are getting active on this good Monday. Before we get into it, I'll talk about how my day has started off so far. So today uh, I had a signing with a new attorney client. We always we always like working with attorneys. Uh, the benefits of working with attorneys is regardless of how interest rates are, um, attorneys are always going to have business. So attorneys have a lot of practices, whether it's estate planning, whether it's cannabis, whether it's business. Uh, whether it's family law, uh, divorce law, or any any kind of thing, any type of practice that you can imagine, typically they require documents that need to be signed and notarized. So regardless of how the economy is performing, a notary is always going to be needed. And I tend to target attorneys. Why? Because I want to continue to keep business. I want to continue to have recurring appointments on my calendar, and I want to make sure my business is always cash flowing. Now, if you're not at the top of the top, um, meaning like you don't have, if you don't have a ton of relationships with title companies, um, if you solely depending on loan signings, uh, I'm pretty sure your business has been impacted. All right. So you got to be able to uh, pivot, got to be able to diversify and be able to, um, uh, have as many diverse ways of getting business as possible. So new attorney client today, uh, this particular client in, uh, in general, they specialize in cannabis. Uh, this is something interesting because uh, prior to last week, I'm going to say prior to last week, I had worked with this client. This is our second time working with them today. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't aware that cannabis documents, whether if it's an application or a permit, needed to be notarized. I'm always just thought, like, hey, we just signed a documentation. We're good to go. So that's one of the benefits of being in the notary business, man. You never know who needs a notary. And there's so many new things that pop up on a weekly, on a daily basis. So Today has been a good day so far. Um, not to mention, we did have three estate plan signings that I had to get scheduled. So had an estate plan signing uh, in Renton, Washington, Tucson, and then I have another one in Simi Valley as well. All got those, uh, all those signings have been filled. So I appreciate those notaries who have made themselves available and we're gonna make sure they are paid as well. So if you have not joined our network, please make sure you join our network. Uh, I'm gonna post it in the comments for you right now. Let me post it. Let me post this in the comments real quick before we get started, y'all. Let me see. Let me see. There we go. So if you can see it in the comment, if you have not joined our network, please join our network. We're always looking for new notaries to work with. Um, but yeah, so let's get right into our topic today. Um, let's talk about how to stand out from the local competition. Uh, as we know, we sometimes we come across, uh, I come across some notaries, um, they get discouraged in the beginning because, especially if you live in a huge metropolitan city, whether it's Los Angeles, whether it's Houston, whether it's Atlanta, or even if you're in the Bay Area, some places like San Francisco, um, San Jose, Oakland, you name it, typically those large metropolitan areas tend to have a lot of notaries. So it's a lot from where people can choose from. They can just go through a list of notaries and see who's available. And sometimes in the beginning, most most often in the beginning, you're typically at the bottom. 
yeah, you, you're typically not even on the front page, not even in that top three pack if you're just starting out. Now, unless you're working with someone like a, you're working with like with a marketing agency where they specialize in SEO, websites, and things of that nature, then yeah, you may end up being in that top three. But if you're not starting out, if you're not starting out like that, typically you gotta you gotta work from the ground up and build yourself up t- uh, to get to that top three or even number one spot so you can start getting some business. And hopefully this video, you guys get a lot of value from. I'm going to talk about what are some ways that you can stand out from the local competition so you can start getting some consistent business. So number one, number one, in my opinion, you want to have a booking software in place. Now, whether that's Calendly, whether that's Schedule, I think it's called Schedulosity, Schedule T, or Acuity as well. There's a host of booking softwares available out there. You just want to find one that makes sense for you and for your for your uh, pockets as well. You definitely want to have this in place because what I've noticed is there are some there are customers out there where they don't want to text, they don't want to call, they just want to be able to just go to your website and they just want to just choose a day and time that works for them, and they just want to make and they just know and they just have to trust that you're going to be available. So you're going to have some people that don't want to talk on the phone. So. I definitely encourage you to implement some booking software in place uh, in your business on your website and make it easier for people to get in touch with you. And this is be and this is, and this will definitely be helpful for you, especially for those of you who may not who's those solopreneurs when they may not be in a position to hire uh, a virtual assistant to schedule the signings. You want to be able to leverage this. You want to be able to leverage the software as an employee, so you can get those appointments coming in. And you don't have to worry about answering the phone or having to leave the signing table while you're working with the client so you can't book those appointments. Um, speaking of that, I'll give you an example. So this morning, I woke up. I have a, I have a, um, a long-term client that I've been working with, a business client, and they have, I have access to my, they have access to my schedule whenever, whenever they have access to my schedule all the time. So whenever they need to book an appointment for their client, they just go ahead and book it. They don't have to call me. They don't have to text me. And I woke up to this morning with two appointments on my calendar. And that's and that's a good feeling to be able to wake up to appointments book. Now, the thing, once you do that, then once you see, once you get that feeling of waking up to appointments book, you wanna, you wanna have that feeling all the time. So you wanna continue to work with these business clients where they get access to your calendar and they're just gonna just book you and you only have to call or talk to them at all. So get a booking software in place. Um, a good thing that, uh, something I would recommend for you all as well is, Check out your local competition. So when you get a chance, uh, check out check out Mobile Notary. Type in Mobile Notary on Google, with, 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 regardless of where you live at. And just check out the notaries' websites. And you'll see that there are notaries that do not have a booking software in place. You can even also see that their websites haven't, even, haven't been updated. So if their website haven't been updated, um, you can check their profile. You can see sometimes... Then you can you'll notice that some of them are not even in business anymore, or they just don't answer the phone, or they just they just um, they just don't have these things in place. And so you want to have that. Oh, do yeah, do a research of your competition. See if they have this booking software in place. If they don't have it, that's going to give you a, a huge advantage over them. Because the way I was able to acquire this client that I was telling you about is I got a, I got actually got referred to them. I was referred to this particular client. I go to the I go to the go to the appointment. We do the signing, and at the end of the appointment, I asked them. I was like, "Hey, how do you guys currently find notaries?" And they were telling me, "Well, my assistant, well, the the, the attorney was telling me, well, my assistant, she just typically just calls around and texts to see if people is available. Wherever she finds, they they just come here." And my pitch to them was like, "Well, if I can make it simple for you, uh, I have a scheduling software that I use where I give you guys access to my calendar." And this can save your assistant from spending valuable and billable, billable time trying to find a notary. You just schedule a day at time that where it's best for you, and I'll be here or I'll have one of my notaries available here. I said, okay, great, send that over. And this is this is a good value add because let's be honest, most people don't want to spend time looking for a notary. Me personally, I hire notaries for a living, and I know a lot of times notaries don't either answer the phone, and if they do answer the phone, it's some type of scheduling conflict. They're not available for whatever reason. And if you're a person that's not familiar with the process, this could be a headache for you. So instead of that being a headache for them, I'm willing to take on the responsibility of them scheduling a notary for them, or I'll schedule myself to be available as well. So 
take that take if you will if you can take that problem off your client's plate by leveraging the booking software this is going to tremendously help you in your business so always have a booking software in place for your notary business uh here's another way to stand up in a local competition answer the phone it's really simple if you answer the phone more than likely you're going to get the appointment because let's talk because again we, it goes back to that problem of a client not wanting to spend time trying to Try, try to, not trying to spend time trying to find a notary. They got other things that they have to do. They may have to print out documents for the client. They may have to get in touch with the client to find out what time can they come to the office. They may um, have some other additional tasks that that needs to take that takes precedent over trying to find a notary. And as I said before, a lot of the notaries don't answer their phone. A lot of notaries are not available at times, whether they not available to the evenings because they work a nine to five or they were in the business previously, but they're no longer in the business. So just by answering your phone, you're going to stand out from the competition. Answering your phone is going to help you stand out from the rest. It's really simple. I don't know what else to really add to that. But if you answer your phone, you're going to stand out from the competition. Trust. Uh, number three, you want to provide the highest quality of service. You want to provide the highest quality of service. What do we mean by providing the highest quality of service? Uh, one of the things, what an example, an example of providing the highest quality of service is arriving on time. How many times? How many times have you all dealt with a professional, whether it's a notary for yourself, and that and that notary wasn't on time? That made you feel the way, right? Because especially if you have things that's going on at the time, you want to make sure you're on time, being punctual, introducing yourself. Hi, how are you doing? My name is Rafaniel. I'm here to serve. I'm here. I was called here for an appointment today. I just want to make sure that. Your client is on time. I just want to be here, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, thank you. Here, let's go up. Let's walk to the back. Uh, being nice. Uh, I don't know if you all have been on TikTok as of late, but there's been a huge conversation on just being, just providing excellent customer service. Um, being nice to your clients. I mean, these people are the one that hiring you, right? They are the ones that's putting money in your pockets, right? Wouldn't it make sense for you to be nice to those people that's paying you to provide a service? That's what I mean by providing the highest quality of service. What's another example of providing a high quality of service? Let's say, for example, you may have a client where they need to get these documents filled out and they may need to take these documents to FedEx or UPS to make sure they're mailed to their proper authority. Why not take the offer of taking those documents for them? Why not do that for them? No one, no other notary is thinking like this. No other notary is offering to do this. They're just there to sign the documents, get paid, and going about their day. But me, I'm all about customer retention. I want your, I want recurring appointments. I want you to always keep me top of mind whenever you need a notary. And the way to provide a high quality of service is making is making these offers to do these additional things free of charge. Because when you offer to do these things, they're going to, it's going to make you stand out from the rest of the pack. That's not thinking about providing a high quality of service. They only care about just going in. Hi, I'm the notary. Let me sign what I need to do. Get paid and going about my day. Offer to take the documents to the courier. Offer to do additional things that come along with being a notary. And you're going to see yourself stand out from the rest of the pack. So providing the highest quality of service is definitely going to make you more attractive than your competitors. Another way to stand out from the competition is asking for a review. <laughs> asking for a review. How many of you, how many, how many, like, like if you do the research, if you do the research on notaries in your area, you'll see a lot of notaries where it said, well, on their Google profile, where it say they've had their page up for five years, three years, 10 years, 15 years, and they've only got four or five reviews to show for it. Why is that the case? Why are they not asking clients for reviews? Make incorporate that. If you incorporate that and make that a part of your process, that's going to make you stand out from the rest. I give you an example. I have, uh, I think at the, at this current time, at this current time, I may have eighty one or eighty two reviews. I may have eighty one or eighty two reviews. Uh, there's other notaries who had their Google page much longer than I have, and they only have ten reviews. 15 reviews. I know there's a notary where I live at where he's had his Google page for 10 plus years and he only has 10 reviews. Meanwhile, I've only had my Google page up for possibly two years and I already have 82. How is it I was able to do, how is it I was able to 6X, 8X the, the, the amount of reviews that he has? Why? Because I make it, I, I incorporate it. I make it a huge part of my process. People want to know 
people want to know who they're going to work with. Are you going to be on time? Are you going to overcharge me? Are you going to do the things that you're necessary? Are, are you going to do the things that you say you're going to do on your website? How is that? How is the customer experience while working with you? I want to see what all these other people have said. And if you make that a part of your process and you rack up those reviews, that part that that client, that that notary that may be ahead of you only because of SEO or they may have had their page long only they may have had their page a few years before you, they're going to end up working with you because they're going to go based off those reviews. They want to see what's that what's the experience like when working with you. And I think there's only one notary right now who's had his page for probably 15 years. Got a hundred and something reviews. Now he's had his page for 15 years, but he has a hundred reviews. Meanwhile, I've only had my page for two years. I'm all and I'm almost close to there. I'm only about 20 some odd reviews away. So make it a part of your process to ask for reviews. And you're not gonna always now, you're not gonna always win. You're always gonna have some people who may forget. They say they'll leave your review and they don't. And you may have some people that may leave you review when you least expect it. If you make this a part of your process, you're going to see yourself move up the rankings and you're going to see yourself. You're going to see yourself being able to separate yourself from the from the competition. So always make it a part of your process to ask for reviews. Good thing about using Calendly um, after each appointment already have automated to when the when the, the, the appointment has already been completed, already have it automated to where they're going to receive an email and they're going to receive a text saying thank you for your business. If you like our service, please leave us a review. And I also also have it in my CRM where, again, where if the appointment is completed, if I show them that the appointment has been completed, there is an automated email that's going to be sent out where it's going to ask for a review. So I'm very, you got to be very intentional about, very intentional about asking about these things. And if so, that's going to make you stand out from the pack. Let's see. It says, I was shocked when looking at competitors. They've been around longer than me, but I've had like four recent reviews. And the reason why you've seen that is because most people, most notaries that you're going to see, uh, they're very comfortable. They don't think they don't. They're either comfortable or they don't really take this business as seriously. They don't take this business as serious as they should. And me, in general, I take this very seriously, very seriously. I make it a part of my process to ask for reviews. I make it a part. And even ask them at the signing table, how was your signing experience with me? Was there anything I could have done to be better today? These are questions that other notaries are not asking you, right? These are these are questions that other notaries are not asking their clients. Now, when you ask, when you ask these questions, when you show how intentional you are about your business, they have no choice but to keep you top of mind. And when they keep you top of mind, those other those same clients are going to tell their friends, they're going to tell their peers about you whenever they need a notary. And that's how you're going to separate yourself from the pack. Separating yourself from the pack is going to help you get more appointments on your calendar and it's going to help you make more money in your business as well. The only thing you need to do is just be consistent, consistent, doing these things day in and day out. So let's recap, y'all. Let's recap on how to separate yourself from the competition in, in your uh, in your local area. Number one, have a booking software in place. Automatic. If you look at most notaries, that I've seen, especially in those two cities, a lot of them have booking softwares and you have some other notaries where they don't. They just depend on just answering the phone, which is perfectly fine. You got to answer the phone to be able to book the appointment, right? But always have that in place, especially if you're marketing for a B2B business, which I absolutely love targeting. Number two, answer the phone. If you don't answer the phone, you can't get any appointments. Simple as that. Uh, number three, um, Ask questions. Ask questions about, well, how was their signing experience with you? Was there anything you could have done to be better today? Uh, number four, provide the highest quality of service. Uh, whether if it's if they, if they, if you overhear, if you overhear them say, oh, I got to take these documents back. I, I, I got to take these documents back to FedEx or mail this all by a specific time. Offer to do that. Why not? It's a value add. No one is offering to do these things for them. And then uh, last, want to ask for the review. Make it a part of your process mm -hmm. to ask for the review. All right. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to hold you guys up for too long. I just want to get on here today to share some quick tips on how to stand out from the competition. Mm -hmm. Do some do some research on the notaries that's mm -hmm. in your area. See what see what type of gaps that they have. See what gaps that they have on their website. See what see what type of gaps or what some what some areas of weakness that you could take advantage because that's going to help you be able to book more appointments and they're going to have those clients keep you top of mind. All right. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. I hope you guys got a lot of value from this. Um, before I jump off, I will be hosting a free workshop on the 18th on reverse mortgages. Reverse mortgages, yes, mm -hmm. I will be hosting a free workshop on reverse mortgages. Mm -hmm. 
we're going to be talking about how to pretty much go through a reverse mortgage package. I know a lot of times it's not the most exciting signing to go through, but those signings could be very profitable as well if you know what you're doing. So it'll be on the 18th. Uh, make sure you send me. I think it's on my page. It should be on. It should be on on my website. But if not, I'll drop I'll drop the link below once this link, once this video is posted. Love to have you all be in attendance. It is free. It doesn't cost you anything. We just want you to, I just want to make sure you get the knowledge. You have the know-how so you can put more money in your pockets. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace.